Hey, what is up, guys? It is Odog Eastpawn here, and you can call me Owen, and I am back with another episode of our Chicago Bulls rebuild. I've simulated a little bit farther into the season after this tough loss to the Cavaliers on February 17th, and now we are in the last couple weeks of the regular season making that final push towards the playoffs, getting ready, getting tuned up to go to war and win this championship. So, take a look at the standings here, look at the playoff picture. We have clinched our playoff spot one of four teams in the East to do so, and we are currently half a game ahead of the Boston Celtics. So we aren't quite, you know, far and away the number one team in the East like we were a couple, um, like a month and a half ago. We've kind of fallen off a little bit, but we've also had some injuries, and I think everyone might be healthy now. Let's look. Yeah, it looks like everyone's healthy now, so it looks like we should be, uh, now that everyone's healthy, we should be able to gear up for the playoffs, really make that final push, get our momentum back and you know really be really be pushing for maybe a championship this year I don't want to like get ahead of ourselves or anything but I want to see it happen but if you look here in the power rankings the Celtics have actually usurped us for number one in the power um, for number one uh, the Lakers we're ahead of the Warriors and the Thunder though and the Lakers like it's hard not I mean you can't you can't be mad about your rebuild if you know, by the end of season three, you're number two in the league-wide power rankings. Um, so yeah, we're getting ready for the last couple weeks of the regular season here, fine-tuning our team, getting ready for the playoffs. It's going to be huge. I hope you guys are pumped for the playoffs because I, sh I know I sure am. We're going to try and make that magical championship run. It would be so, so great if we could manage to do something like that. And today we're going to be playing a game against the Sacramento Kings, who are not a great team, but they are my favorite team in real life, for those of you who know me. And I just felt like, you know, I didn't want to skip all the way to the end of the season and just play the last game. So uh, this episode we're going to be playing the Sacramento Kings, and I will see you guys there. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for tonight's big time matchup between the Chicago Bulls and the Sacramento Kings here in the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. The Bulls tuning up for the playoffs, getting ready. The Kings have Jimmy Butler for some... Oh, wait. I might have done that. I might have been the reason they have Jimmy Butler. Did I? Did I do that? No. That wouldn't make any sense. They have Jimmy Butler. I don't know. Um. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to try and cop this home win. get that fine tuning in before the playoffs come around. They got Theo Maladon, who I think was their draft pick this year. They got Jimmy Butler somehow. Buddy Hill's gonna lock him down though. If we could grab a rebound, oh boy. Oh! Wendell Carter with the block. Let's run. Let's go. And Kobe White finds Jalen. Jay, why is his number still number one? You guys have seen in the last two episodes, I have gone in and changed Jaden McDaniel's number to number seven twice now, and neither time did it save. I don't understand what I gotta do. I don't know what I have to do to get this dude to change his number. Let me know in the comments, like, if there's something that I'm doing wrong when I'm changing his numbers. He's wide open there. That's easy money for the, not the rookie, second year guy, right? I think he's in his second year. Either way. Wait, no. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is that right? No, he would have to be a rookie because Kobe White was a rookie last year. Kobe White was our first round pick last year, right? And this year we got Jaden McDaniels and Lonzo Ball. And Jaden McDaniels off to a fast start here. Holy cow. You love to see that. Let's go. Oh, oh, nice board. Let's run. Let's go. Get it to Jaden. He's hot. Jaden McDaniels draws the foul. Oh, thought he was gonna get the. Thought he was gonna get the and one. Thought he was gonna get the bucket and the band aid, the hoop and the harm. But he ran to sell for a couple of free throws instead. He is an 85% free throw shooter on the season, so no worries about him at the free throw line. Knocks them both down. All nine of our points so far coming via Jaden McDaniels, and honestly, I'm not even mad. And Kobe White punches Theo Maladon in the face. Wow, that was rude. That was very rude, Kobe. Alright. Theo Maladon. 
Not surprised he missed that shot after he got punched in the face by Kobe White. Gets a buddy healed for three. Oh, buddy's gonna green light that all night. And they need a timeout. We're off to a fast start here, folks. They need a timeout. Let's go. Who? Um. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, we got him on a go. Oh, that was beautiful, Jaden McDaniels. He's got 17 points already. The kid is absolutely going off right now. Unbelievable. Dude, I love this kid, dude. He's gonna, he's a future all-star for sure. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. Thank God Jimmy Butler didn't. Oh, no, Andrew Wiggins. Where's the defense, my guy? What are you doing? Andrew Wiggins. Come on, bro. Another one. Another one! Jaden McDaniels going off right now! 20 points in the first quarter! Oh my god! An absolute beast! Beasting and feasting! Oh my god! He blocks Marvin Bagley! But Theo Maladon's left wide open at the top of the key and he makes the three. Dude, Jaden Daniels is doing it all right now, guys. Can you bl Oh my god. He doesn't miss! He doesn't miss! Jaden McDaniels does not miss. This is unbelievable. Oh my god. Let's go. Where's Jaden at? Get it to him. Go! Green light, baby! Jaden McDaniels, are you kidding me? Where, where did this kid come from? Where did this kid come from? Oh my god. Jade McDaniels, let's go. Oh. This is... Woo! Woo! You know, the team isn't really built around letting one guy score all of our points. You know, it's more of like a you know, share the love type of system. But Jaden McDaniels has just commanded the ball tonight. Like, Look at that, and one. Oh, not quite. But Jesus Christ, let's just keep feeding the kid, honestly. There's no reason not to. He hasn't missed a single shot yet. Unbelievable. Oh my god. Oh. 27 points in the first quarter? Are you kidding me? This is the stuff of legends. This is unbelievable. Unprecedented. Uh-oh. Well, his defense hasn't been great, but... No. No! Oh, God. Okay. Get it to him, get it to him, get it to him, go. Go, Jaden, go. Go up, go up, and one! Oh, not quite. But it's okay. It's alright. He's going back to the line. Dude, Jaden McDaniels is unconscious right now. He is un unstoppable. You can't stop this man. You can only hope to contain him. Oh, he just doesn't stop. It's unbelievable. This is this is arguably the best performance I've had with a player in a single game since I scored like 60 points with Jimmer Fredette and hit 23s in a single game. And that really doesn't even count because Jimmer Fredette's not actually in the game. Oh man, who is that? I don't even know who that was, but he got us. Where is okay? Let's get let's get Jaden McDaniel's the ball here. Fading baseline. Yeah, it's not his shot. No, Andrew Wiggins. Why would you do that? Okay, okay, okay. Play some defense, play some defense. That's not quite the defense I was looking for, but I guess that's kind of my fault, because I was controlling him, so I could have went up for that shot contest. Oh, you can't... You, you It's just too easy! 31 points in the first quarter, dude! Jaden McDaniels is just going off right now. Unbelievable. I, I can't believe what I'm watching right now. Nice defense. Nice defense. Let's go. 
Get it to the guy. This is our guy. Let's get him an assist here. What do you think? Or not, because Lamelo Ball is trash. He's not trash. He's just. I wish that release. I'm gonna. I might have to go edit his release because it's a, so much quicker in real life, and it would be so much more useful if it was a quicker release. To be honest, like I'd be able to use him a lot better. Thomas, there's no need for that. No need for that at all. Okay, 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 <clears throat> it's fine, did they take Jaden McDaniels out of the game? They took Jaden McDaniels out of the game, god dude, how are we supposed to score? He's outscoring the Sacramento Kings by himself this quarter. Alright, that's a wide open three for Lamelo, and he bricks it. Lamelo, I've given you so many chances, my guy, so many. Alright, whatever. Let's go. I mean, Jade McDaniel, look at him. I mean, Jade McDaniel is just a beast. He's outscoring the entire Sacramento Kings team by himself. Okay. Okay. That was a hell of a first quarter, but it can't get too high. Can't get too high on the highs and too low on the lows. We gotta keep even keel here. Don't wanna get ahead of ourselves, you know. Don't want to hear wedding bells on the uh, first date, you know what I mean? I do want Jaden McDaniels back in the game. Oh! Oh! Oh, LaMelo! I didn't realize LaMelo had that kind of quickness. Jeez. Yeah, they can't, their bench is outscoring us because we've literally only scored seven points outside of Jaden McDaniels. <laughs> 31 points in the first quarter, an epic first quarter performance, and Lamelo gets the steal and throw it down, Andrew Wiggins, throw it down, let's go. Andrew Wiggins has been so much fun off the bench. Having him and Brandon Ingram coming off the bench is almost unfair. And, like, Lamelo Ball is also really good. I, I just don't know how to use him. I think it's, it's just his shot release, honestly. If he had a quicker shot release, I feel like I would tear up with Lamelo. Uh-oh, that's not... Mm. I hate when I do that. Oh man, dude, I mean at this point it's just it's just a massacre. Denzel Valentine is thinking like, man, they really did improve their team by trading me. That makes me feel bad about myself. He should feel bad about himself because he's I mean it's Denzel Valentine. I, oh, okay. Luke Kennard guarding Marvin Bagley is not ideal, but the help defense from Lori doesn't matter because we don't get the rebound. Jesus Christ. Get a rebound! Buddy with some nice defense on Jimmy Buckets, but we still can't get a rebound! Get a rebound! There we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Go. Yep, buddy healed. 4-3! Never mind. God dang it. Okay. Luke. Cl Clamp. Ah. Uh. Clamp. Clamps! Clampy white? Oh no. Oh no, we got the, the weird screen animation. Okay. It's alright. It's alright. Not even worried about it. Not even worried about it. You know why I'm not even worried about it? Because... Oh my... Never mind. I might be a little bit worried about it because we are retarded. Are you serious? You just threw it right into the back of another person. And no, I'm not talking about you, Siri. Shut up. Shut up! Got it. Siri just wants to be in a video really bad, but buddy healed wide open in the corner. We take those. We take those. We, we hadn't scored in almost five minutes. Jade McDaniels is about to come back in the game, though. You already know he's gonna have 50 by halftime. You already you already know as soon as he comes back in this game. Oh God. Uh, luckily he's luckily Jimmy Buckets is literally mentally handicapped. You get a timeout. Um, I just want to get Jaden McDaniels back in the game, to be honest. I need my boy in here knocking down these shots. Dude, how many points is Jaden McDaniels going to end up with tonight? There we go. Let's go, Jaden McDaniels! The kid is unstoppable! Oh my god, he's got- I didn't even know he had Silver Limitless range. I didn't know he had that kind of range. Holy- oh my god. I have never- I, I have never straight up torn up 
with a player like this before. Marvin Bagley's fadeaway jumper is always going to be cash, so it's not even worth worrying about. But we're up by 20 right now. 20! Jade McDaniels is an absolute beast. Yeah, I don't know why he's down in the post like that. There we go, get him up. He's still- oh, you can't stop him. You cannot stop Jaden McDaniels. You can only hope to contain him. And only hope. That's all you can do is hope to contain him. Oh, Jaden. Hey, that's alright, though. Dude, Jaden McDaniels has 36 points in the- He had 31 by the end of the first quarter! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I wish he wasn't playing the four right now, because it's a little bit hard to get. Alright, let's uh, take Marvin Bagley to school here. Oh, there we go. Go, go up. Strong! Ah! Yeah, he's not, not a very good post-scorer. Like, he's good at driving and whatnot, but... All right, here we go, fast break. And one. Oh, now. All right. Come on, Jaden, you're better than that. No, 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 no. Oh, Vince, come on, dude. Can we get um, Vin uh, somebody in a power forward instead of Jaden McDaniels? Can we move Jaden McDaniels back to the three, please? I need him back at the three. I need Jaden McDaniels to be playing the three right now. Give it to him, give it to him, give it to him. Oh, baby. Oh, man, if that would have went in, I would have lost my mind. But it's fine. Gotta keep feeding the hot hand. He might not... I mean, he's kind of cooled down now. I would like for him to have, like, 40 by the half, though. Yes, yes, grab the ball, though. He, he, what? Jaden! Why aren't we grabbing loose balls? Come on. Oh... I mean, we're still up by a lot, but I'd like to be up. I mean, we could be up by more. Go. Jaden. Jaden, why aren't you making these shots? There we go. I'm, I am guess at this point I'm kind of forcing it to Jaden McDaniels, just a hair. But I honestly couldn't even care less. I mean, 38. I just want the kid to score. I want him to go off. I want to, I want to have a 50-plus point game. I don't think we've had one all year as a team. Oh, my God! Stop fouling him, please. At least Jaden McDaniels is back at the three now. Thank God. Yeah, Wendell Carter in the game. Jaden McDaniels at the three. Where he should be. Doing things like that! Let's go! Beating Denzel Valentine off the dribble like it's his job because it is his job. 15 of 20 from the floor, 40 points. He is, His only other stat to his name is one assist, but still. Like, it doesn't matter. If you're not stuffing the stat sheet, I don't even I don't even care if he's stuffing the stat sheet because he's got 40 points in the first half, dude. <laughs> I mean, come on. Oh my god, it's too easy! Jaden McDaniels just keeps going off! Let's go, the coach is pissed. Oh no, that's my coach. What's my coach doing walking all the way down there? My coach should not be pissed right now. Is he, is he looking at what his team's doing right now? Absolutely dismantling the Sacramento Kings. And yeah, the Kings aren't the best team in the world, but they're not awful either. They've got 30 wins. Oh! And the block! Who, who's getting this ball in transit? You already know! You already know! You already know who's getting that ball in transition. Up by 19. Oh man, what a game. What a game. This is huge. I, this is awesome. This is what this team looks like when it's like full health, full strength, everyone's rocking. Ready to roll, and Jaden McDaniels is having the game of his life. Oh, get that out of here! No, sir! Wendell Carter at the buzzer! Oh, my God, that would have been amazing. What a first half, though. Holy shit, Jaden McDaniels. That man right there. That man right there has 44 points in the first half. Unbelievable. Holy shit. Okay, let's start up the second half. The j second half of the Jaden McDaniels show. 44 points in the first half from the young man. Are you kidding me right now? 44? Is like you're you're kidding, right? 44 points? No, you guys saw every single one of those 44 points hit the bottom of the net. You guys saw. 
You guys are witnesses. Look at that. He's right back at it. Right away. This kid does not slow down. Jaden McDaniels. I'm giving him the ball the rest of the game, dude. I There's no reason not to. There's no reason not to just feed him the ball the rest of the game. Oh my god. What a draft pick, honestly. this He's what, like the seventh overall pick? I think. I don't think he was even a top five pick. But he was the highest overall player in the draft. Oh my god, he's unreal! He's unreal! The kid is unstoppable! Are you serious? I've never seen such destruction. Just all around. Like, I've never seen somebody just be so effective all around in a game that they're just unstoppable. Like, he's driving and scoring. He's shooting and scoring. He's shooting. He's hitting contested shots from beyond, like, regular... Look at this. Look at this. Oh, never mind. Hey, that's our ball, though! That's our ball, because my boy Lori is fighting down there and caused Marvin Bagley to cough it up out of bounds. Right? Oh, my God. And then Lori throws it right to Marvin Bagley. Another thing that I've realized is I don't think Nikola Vucevic has scored more than, like, maybe four points this whole game. And that's an offensive three-second violation on the man I just mentioned, Nikola Vucevic, who they highlighted before the game, because apparently he's an impact player. Impact player, my ass, you aren't doing anything. Nobody on this floor is an impact player right now, aside from Jaden McDaniels. Let's go. Another one. Another one. Another one! Oh my god, my man is unstoppable! 51 points! 51! He's going to end this game with 70 points. Mark my words. You can't you can't stop him. You go, "Oh my god, Wendell Carter with the steal. Jaden McDaniel. Get up, boy. And one." Oh. God damn. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm so hyped right now. I'm so hyped. Oh my god, you have no idea. I mean, you probably have a little bit of an idea because you're hearing me screaming. Oh, Jaden, why you gotta do that to me? Why you gotta do that to me, Jaden? Why you gotta do that to me? Okay, you made the second one though, so it's okay. Oh my god, dude. Oh, I feel like I'm at an actual sporting event with like my like my throat hurts from yelling so much. All right, here we go, Jaden McDaniel's in the fast break. You already know. Pull it. Pull it, baby! Let it fly! Let it fly all day! You got the green light all night, Jaden McDaniels. You got that green light all night! And come out with the steal? Come out with the steal? You know who we're giving it to? You already know who we're giving it to! Oh. Get the rebound, though. Get the rebound, though. Get right back to him. Right back to him. Oh, he's injured. Uh-oh, that's not good. Alright, uh, Jaden McDaniels appears to have suffered a minor injury, which is, um, probably the worst thing I've ever seen. Alright, we gotta, we gotta play this smart. Get it to him. Alright, I need, I don't know what's happening. Um, he, he's injured somehow, and it makes me want to cry, because he's having the game of his life. Go, get it to him, go, 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 go. And one. Oh my god. That's not not good at all. God. Why is it gotta why is 2K gotta kill my vibe like that though? Hello? He still hits those though. No he doesn't. He no he doesn't. He's hurt. What is going on? Jaden, what happened? Oh my god, Marvin Bagley. Man, 2K really just killed my whole vibe right there. Jay McDaniels wants to go off for 70 points. Okay, there we go! There we go! He's back! He's fine! He's back! He is back! We're fine! We're almost winning by 30 points. Jaden McDaniels is single-handedly outscoring the Kings and he's injured. Jaden, you're fine. Jaden, you can't be injured. I need you to keep scoring points. Uh, um, can I look here at, uh, 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 player health? Unknown right ankle injury? Don't you dare. Don't you dare be injured. Jaden McDaniels, you better be coming back to this game.
You better be coming back into this game, Jaden McDaniels. I need you. I, I need Jaden McDaniels to come back, dude. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Oh boy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Just want Jaden McDaniels to be safe, honestly. I just want him to be... I just want Jaden McDaniels to come back, if I'm being real. I mean, we're up by 27 right now. There's not much game to be really played. I just want Jaden McDaniels to score more points. <laughs> I know, you know... Oh, God. Oh, it's just ugly, honestly. Like, I don't know how... We're, I don't even... It doesn't even look like the regular... This doesn't look like the Bulls that I know, and holy shit, Andrew Wiggins. It makes, us, makes it a 30-point lead. Can I can I sub him back in? Is that okay? Am I allowed to or not? Because he's injured. I can't put him back in the game. No, Jaden. He was gonna drop sixty. He's gonna drop seventy points. He's gonna he's gonna end up with like what, what do you have like fifty eight? I think through three quarters, not even the three full quarters of play. He had fifty eight points. I mean, an unreal performance nonetheless, but it could have, he could have had such huge scoring, to, he could have had so many points, he, had a, he could have had 80 plus points this game, if he would have kept going off, but he injured his right ankle. Man, god that sucks so bad. Man, Mar well, that's, yeah. at least we're gonna get a good... We're gonna get a fat dub here, so that's that's good. But man, 2K really killed my vibe with Jaden McDaniels getting hurt. Like that was so uncalled for. Let's get Lori going here. A little turn around, J. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I can't believe how much we've dominated this game. To be entirely honest with you. Like, I expected to win, but I didn't expect to just absolutely blow him out of the freaking building. Let's go. Heading into the fourth quarter, up by 30. This game is practically over. Oh, man, I just gotta ride this one out. Oh, Jaden McDaniels back in the game. Jaden McDaniels... They finally let me put him back in, but... I mean, he's, got, he's up to 65 points, so I guess I can't be too upset, but like... He was on track for so many points, dude. Let's get him more, though. Come on. Maybe not. Maybe not. The Kings haven't scored in almost nine minutes. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Well, at least, you know, he got to come back in until the end of the game. I don't know why they even bothered to put him back in. I don't know why I'm still shooting with him. I'm just, at this point, I'm just hurting his... <laughs> shooting percentages. Brandon Ingram, was that necessary? But yeah, holy shit, you guys. What a game. Like, this is a massive win for us. And a massive game for Jaden Daniel McDaniels. Like, oh my god. I... I, he, I can see him hobbling around out there on that ankle, and it's like, dude, you're my hero. Oh my... Well, that wasn't great, but... I mean, look at that. 65 points. And he basically played only three quarters because he sat out a vast majority of the third quarter after he suffering that ankle injury. And one. Hey, that goes somehow. 67 points for Jaden McDaniels. Unbelievable. Can we just get a round of applause for Jaden McDaniels and the effort that he gave tonight? Unbelievable. This young man. This young man has got the brightest future of any young player in the NBA right now. Let me tell you, after that game, I'm putting him in the Hall of Fame right now. 67 points. 67 points in the last, like, I think nine of those points were on a limp ankle. Or a bum ankle. Look at that shooting. 25 of 44. So, like, what is that? Twisted right ankle? Oh, he's fine. He'll be fine. But... Like, yeah, he shot 44 shots in the game, which is, like, a lot, but at the same time, if he's made 25 of them, that's way over 50%, and he shot 50% from three-point range as well, like, you can't be upset about how many shots he took when he was shooting so well. Laurie had a double-double, Andrew Wiggins, another nice game off the bench from him, Buddy healed, Brandon Ingram. 
Wendell Carter. Um, I mean, everyone else's stats kind of look trash because Jaden McDaniels just took this game over. From start to finish, he scored our first, what, like nine points of the game? And then he got an assist on the next, on the only, um, I think our first 12 points of the game were all either scored or assisted by Jaden McDaniels. It, it was just unreal, the performance he had tonight. Unbelievable. I, I can't, I, I, I literally just can't be, I, I, he was responsible for 73 of our 130 something points. Like, I just can't, <clears throat> I can't put into words exactly just, just how much like I appreciate what he did tonight like how much fun it was Jaden McDaniels hats off to you my guy you deserve like you deserve a lot you deserve to keep the number one I know it's a sacred number for a lot of Bulls fans because of Derrick Rose but a 7 67 point performance I think he's earned the number one and even if he didn't earn the number one I mean even if he didn't even if you don't feel like you're in the number one I can try to change it again, but it's not going to change, because I've changed it twice now, and it's just changed right back, so I don't know what to do about it. Oh, but man, what a game. What a game. Jaden McDaniels just... Oh, whew, Jaden McDaniels. Can I just get a hell yeah for Jaden McDaniels? Let's look at how Where's that rank on the single game? points. Jaden McDaniels second. Two points behind Michael Jordan's record. Look at that. Five spots. Four of them taken by the GOAT, Michael Jordan. And one of them taken by my personal GOAT, Jaden McDaniels. What? I just can't. What a performance. An absolutely magnificent performance from Jaden McDaniels. Tying the Bulls record for threes made in a game, Clay Thompson. I, that shouldn't even count. Just wow. I, I'm I, I I'm still just like in a little bit of disbelief about what just happened. Oh my God, you guys. Oh, whoo, whoo, whoo. oh man, Jaden McDaniels. Holy cow. Holy God. <laughs> I still just can't believe that happened. Um, I, anyways, we, you got, you can't, you gotta leave a like and a sub for that one. I, you just gotta, like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You, you gotta, you gotta leave a like for that one. Like, come on, come on. Leave a like and a subscribe. For Jaden McDaniels, if nothing, if nothing else, for Jaden McDaniels' performance alone. I don't care if you like me. I don't care if you liked the content. If you liked Jaden McDaniels' performance, which if you didn't like that, then you don't like good basketball. Leave a like and a comment. Tell me how much you love Jaden McDaniels, because I know that all my viewers absolutely love Jaden McDaniels. Who wouldn't? Am I right? That's what I'm thinking. Um. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, if you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, check out the rest of the series. Be sure to uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, what any kind of roster moves I should do, anything like that. Uh, let me know if you're excited about the playoffs. Next uh, next episode, we will be finishing up the regular season and ready, getting ready for the big playoffs. Here we go. Hope you guys are excited. And... Uh, yeah, uh, just leave a like and subscribe for Jaden McDaniels. Come on. You gotta love that. That was huge. 67 points. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a game. I don't know if I'll ever have another game like that in this whole series. That was unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> oh, you guys don't... I just... That was unbelievably... Oh. Oh, I can't say enough about how incredible that performance was. It's just blowing my mind right now that Jaden McDaniels just walked onto that court and dropped 67 points against an NBA team. Like, I know it's not even close to the highest points in a single game, like, ever, but still, it's like, it's just, for someone so young, he's like 20 years old. He's, 
Jaden McDaniels is 20 years old. 20 years old, and he just dropped 67 points on an NBA team. I'm 19 years old. I'm going to be 20 this summer. <laughs> There's not a, I, I wouldn't even I couldn't even dream of scoring two points against an NBA team, let alone 67. Incri it's unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. But yeah, I'm going to stop uh, talking about... I'm going to stop jizzing my pants about Jaden McDaniels and his 67 points, which is unbelievable. But uh, um, yeah, like I said, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will uh, see you in the next episode.